halftime show as the Foxcraft Ponies have a 17-0 lead. Um, my name is Mark Callen. I got Toby Nelson here with me, the man of many positions here at Foxcraft Academy. Uh, to tell you about that first half, Toby. You guys did pretty much, especially the start, did everything you wanted to do. Uh, Winthrop took the ball first. You guys topped him three and out. You give give you guys the ball in that kind of field position, you're going to score most of the time. Yeah, football is really predicated on field position, isn't it? And, and so far tonight, uh, we've uh, we as in Foxcroft has had. Uh, the battle of field positions, getting the ball to 39, 40-yard line and having short fields to drive in. So, you know, we have some, obviously, some great offensive weapons. Having Kemsley in to kick as well is, doesn't hurt as well to put up three extra points on the scoreboard and give us a, another possession uh, lead. So, you know, good first half for, uh, for uh, Foxcroft. They're going to have to come out and play with that intensity in the second half because Winthrop just hasn't got it going yet here tonight, and they're liable to at some point. But right now, uh, Foxcroft's doing everything they need to to win this game. Yeah, you don't. Know, see a player that can kick like Masters too much in any level of no. high school football, really. No, not really. And, you know, obviously he's got a booming leg, uh, and he's become much more accurate, too. Last year he had the big leg, but he wasn't he wasn't as accurate as he, he was this year. Uh, you know, basically a, extra points almost a guarantee as long as it's not a bad snap or something like that. So, uh, you know, he's been a great weapon for us this year and uh, somebody we can count on in the field and, and in the kicking game as well. Well, you're also the uh, the boys' basketball coach here at Foxcroft Academy. What, a week from Monday? Yeah. You get going. Yeah. And, um, you know, some of these players we're seeing out here tonight will be part of that team. Uh, who are a few of these players that we see out here? I know, um, you know, Caden and, um, you know, a few of them, uh, some of the players you got out here tonight. Well, I have seven kids returning from last year's club, and I think six of the seven uh, play football. Um, and I, I name them right off the top of my head, but I forget somebody, and I feel bad. But obviously, Caden Crocker is one of them. Cam Chase is another senior that, that we have as well. And then you throw in our uh, our juniors, uh, which are actually are Jaden Richard, Jack Smith, uh, J uh, Jaden Jack, Devin, and Wyatt. Those are the Wyatt Rayfield and Devin Henderson. So uh, those are the seven kids we have returning. we got a couple of kids that we're looking at that um, you know we've seen play some JV over the last couple of years and, and uh, may, may find a spot uh, when it's all said and done. And then it, there's always the, uh, you know, we look at our boarding kids that come in as well, and we've got a few that have shown some interest in wanting to play basketball. So we'll find out when the rubber meets the road, right, on November 21st. So it is a week from Monday. And, uh, you know, it, it's crazy how quick that season gets here, and it's crazy, crazy how quick once you get into the season how fast it goes because it does make the winter in Maine fly by. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely be here plenty um, to uh, yeah. cover a lot of your games and some of the girls' games too, and we'll be here plenty. Um, talk about maybe how, like, the winning, the winning mentality maybe can carry over from these guys to the, to the basketball court. Well, you know, someone asked me the other day, they said, well, wouldn't you like to have your kids have a little bit of time off? Because if they get to a state championship game, you play on a Saturday, and literally two days later you're moving from a football field to a basketball court. Like, would, would you rather have your kids have – uh, have some time off, or would you rather have them, uh, you know, show that win? I said, well, the, here's the deal. They're kids. They want to win, and I want them to win because if they lose, uh, you know, practice come on Monday, it's not, they're not going to be in great moods, right? Mm -hmm. So you want them to be in the best mood possible. And, and obviously that winning mentality, I think it, it does carry over. It helped us last winter, and not just in basketball. It's helped in other sports as well uh, here at FA. But, you know, our soccer team had a real successful season this year uh, on the on the regular season and, and having one of the better records that they've had so far. Our football team, obviously, Obviously, with some wins. So that's where a, a plethora of my players come from, those two sports. So, um, you know, if they can win there, they try to turn it, turn it around. And, of course, it's a completely different game, but winning is kind of a mentality. And when you, let, when you start to win, it feels good. Yeah. You want to do that more. Um, lastly, I know you talked about this with Zach a few weeks ago a little bit, but what's happened at the um, um, ice? I mean, obviously, you got two great mm. new places, the ice arena and the um, – um, Fieldhouse, um, you know, what's kind of going on there in the winter? Uh, coming well, up? Yeah, of course, coming up in, in the field, let's talk the ice arena. We'll go up the street a little bit further. But right now with the ice arena, of course, we have uh, youth hockey happening. Uh, they're hoping to ho host a couple high school uh, preseason tournaments as well. And they've got a bunch of other ice shows and um, choreographed stuff they have coming up as well. Open skates, cur curling. They've got all kinds of things happening in the in the ice arena coming up over the, uh, the several months because, let's face it, this is skating season, right? We're starting to get into it now. The uh, field house but, uh, between indoor soccer, field hockey, uh, MMA. You want to go in and train for some MMA, Mark? Go on in. Uh, you can learn how to choke somebody out. I was just out, telling so. Chris I can't even tackle these kids, so I don't, I don't know. I mean. So we got that happening. Um, of course, we have our, our walking club in the morning where we have a lot of people from town that just use it to walk around in the morning. We've got the fitness center in there as well. So, you know, plenty of things happening between those two facilities, and uh, we're very, very, very fortunate to have them, but we want to make sure they're full too, right? You want to make you got the buildings. we got to use them now, so we want to make sure that we have plenty of activities for whether it's our youth or just people of the community. So uh, get on out, check out uh, websites, uh, PCIA.com uh, for the ice arena. 
And if you look at our Foxcroft Academy page, Jim Robinson Fieldhouse is right there on the uh, on the website as well. So you can check out schedules, pricing. You can pay for stuff online. So a pretty one-stop shop there for both of them. Well, thank you for joining us again, Toby. And uh, we'll be posting our basketball schedule in the next week or so. And uh, a lot of a lot of your games will be a lot of your home games will be on there. And uh, every everybody in the area will get some. Uh, get some attention this well this i hope winter. hope get a chance to talk to you this winter because if i do that means we probably won a game so it's always a good thing to talk to you afterwards so hopefully we'll do that on a regular basis yeah.